Hey everybody, Ron from Back in the Fairway here, and here I am on the ninth hole at Snohomish today, getting out here, getting a little golf in, uh, just trying to get a little more practice time in before my PAT next month, obviously. Um, hopefully that stays on schedule June 24th, if I have covered that correctly. Um, yeah, so anyway, that's where we sit on that one. Um... I guess right now, I, it seems like a great time to talk about how I'm prepping for the PAT and everything like that. So um, basically what I've got going on right now is kind of a, reg a, re a regiment of putting, short game, a uh, little bit of work on course, and just kind of rotating through that throughout the week. So uh, for example, Sundays I will spend about 15 to 30 minutes working on uh, putting and chipping at home. Uh, Monday, it's kind of the same story. Um, trying to get out before my uh, shifts at the course here on Mondays, about a half hour or so of pitching. Uh, we have a great practice facility here at the course, so that works out really, really well for me. Um, hopefully, the the weather continues to stay nice. We got a little overcast today, and it got a little little crazy out here. Um, then we move on to Tuesdays. Now Tuesdays, back to putting. Um, cannot stress enough how how important it is to not three putt during a PAT. Um, not only does it just break your spirit to be on, you know, for birdie or even a, you know, a par putt and end up three putting it and just knocking yourself out. It's, it's debilitating when that happens to you. And, you know, having had that happen in the first one, uh, the second hole, I hit it into a bunker on the second shot, got out of the bunker and left myself an impossible putt that I ended up getting a bogey on. Um, and that was just a two putt. I mean, it was just brutal though, but it should have been out of the bunker to one. Um, so yeah, that's what I've got going there. Uh, Wednesdays is my day to play. Um, hopefully I can continue to get that time in, um, throughout the next four weeks or so. Uh, super important to get time on the course because no matter what, how much you practice, how much you do, uh, course time is going to be the best thing for you. Um, then moving on, Thursdays, I'm taking the day off. I'm not doing anything on Thursday, just relaxing, kicking back, spending some time with the kiddo. Uh, just, just a nice normal day. Friday, back at it with pitching since I come out to the course for an evening shift again. Uh, and then Saturday is wake up in the morning, do a little putting, and head into work for a full shift at the course. So uh, that's kind of what I'm doing right now to stay in the in the loop on uh, getting ready for the PAT. Uh, hopefully, if I do this right, I can put some graphics right over here kind of showing uh, my practice schedule, how I'm doing it, things like that. Uh, if not, I'll put it right here at the bottom here. Um, but yeah, overall, really happy with how things are going as far as prep goes. Hopefully um, things continue to, to stay on that clip and things just continue to stay sharp. I have to tell you right now, my biggest nemesis is the first tee shot I step up to. Um, kind of got that dead pull hook thing going that everybody loves to see. But, you know, as soon as I settle in and everything gets going, it, it, driver is fantastic. I switched up the Cortex to the Speeder 757 uh, Evo uh, Tour Spec shaft that I had back in my... Ooh, I want to say it was originally in the F5. Um, so that's quite an old shaft, but something about it just feels comfy, so I'm continuing to use it. Um, other than that, no changes to the bag at this point. Uh, the hybrid thing is still weighing on me a little bit, but that two iron is going so well off the tee, I'm not really stressed about it. So I think as far as clubs go, I'm pretty well dialed in. Um, balls, I... You know, as much as I want to switch up and go to the um, the uh, Bridgestone BXS, I I think I'm going to stay with the AVX just for predictability at this point. Um, yeah, it's just it's one of those things where it's just it's just more comfortable and it's easier for me to to adapt to. I don't need the extra spin. I don't really need the extra 10 to 15 yards it gives me. Not that that wouldn't be a huge advantage everywhere, but you know, what am I losing in ball flight height-wise? Am I making up for it in spin? I don't know those answers yet. So um, just too fast, too soon for that one. Um, yeah, so anyway, um, 
the other prep for the PAT, basically what I'm gonna be doing, um, obviously really cracking down on keto, trying to make sure I'm in the best shape I can be for it. Uh, the lockdown was extremely difficult, just running to you know get a snack out of the kitchen when I was there or you know that type of thing. I did put on a couple extra pounds during that. Hopefully it'll come right back off, but we'll see. Uh, that's why I'm out here. Unfortunately today, we're carting it um, just because you know, time and weather and everything like that. Um, but the great news is I'm out here swinging, things feel good, things feel loose, and that's that's about where I sit. Um, trying to think if there's anything else I'm really working on PAT-wise. Like I said, putting with the, the putt out at home, that's been a huge help as far as my short game goes. I think right now I'm eight holes into this and I have one, two, three, four, four, five one putts and three two putts. So putting the ball absolutely great right now. Um, that move to the Wilson Lake short, it's a little bit more of a toe hang putter, working great for me. So uh, yeah, anyway, that's where we sit getting ready for the PAT. Cannot wait to share more with you and we'll see you in the next video.